Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for Backwrap, and in today's video we're going to retrieve the current user information for our logged in user inside your React Native Parse application. So here I have my simulator running with my uh, username and password already typed in, and here on the user login.js I have this alert that will show user and the username has successfully logged in if the login succeeds. To illustrate that we're going to back to the simulator and I'm going to sign in. And there we go, here is the message. But this information is retrieved on login time by Parse. But when this happens, Parse automatically creates a record inside the device which corresponds to the current user information. So to access that information, I'm going to remove uh, this part here. And we're actually, I'm going to put some code up there. So in order to retrieve the user, current user information, I'm going to type const current user equals await, because this is an asynchronous method, parse dot user dot current async. This will retrieve the current user information from the device. And once I get that, I can change my variable here to use that instead and read all the properties from the current user. So right now I'm reading current user dot get username. If I type yarn iOS, it will recompile. relaunch the application, and then I can try to log in again. So Alex ABC123. And there we go. The behavior is the same, but the, the whole logic is a little different because right now I'm uh, using the current user information instead of the information that, I, that came from the login process. So I can use this um, along all my application flow and retrieve information from the device itself instead of trying to make the login every time I need to uh, redo re some query or, some, or activities like that that requires user authentication. So it makes much easier to retrieve user information and uh, it's actually the best way to approach when you have to uh, ensure the current user is logged in and has access to the features that you are going to offer to them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you all next ones. See you soon. Bye-bye.